Yeah. Yeah. So um, <coughs> we'll do a little routine. And I'll show you what I mean uh, a wrong way. So we're going to stay up. Your head is here, your legs are here, so you're going to stay um, With a lot of guard passing, you're going to end up in this sort of no man's land. And that's where he can frame, he can block, he can defend. And, and it's not impossible, but obviously the second part of your difficulty is to get to Side control, but the perfect side control as we like it introduced to is cross face, underhooks, um, the knee underneath the shoulder, my knee touching, and your knees actually off the ground a little so I can apply some weight. That's the perfect one so I can then progress to other um, positions, attacking moves. Again, there is that bit is phase two, and that's quite hard. So, therefore, once I pass guard, sometimes if I can't get to this upper area, I can switch to the reverse side here. Okay. And then the battle is to, you can't really do much from here, you're too low down. From here, when you turn, this is the barrel roll with the skin, it can be a lot to escape. But there's still elements of control needed. We're going to refine those today. And to get to there, we're just going to learn a guard pass. Uh, for example, close guard. We're doing the near side cross, near side knee slide pass here. Here. This bit should be familiar with you if you're used to uh, the drilling close guard passes. I'll show you it, but you don't have to do it. We'll just start from here. So close guard. So, for example, we get up, push, and then look, I'm dropping my knee. So that should be familiar to you. You can also do it from this, driving in, dropping my knee here, opens up and get the push up here, etc. etc. Or even some people are just really good at just being from here. And then here. Just to explain the background. You're gonna start from here. You've already passed one leg, but this one is still quite sticky to you. I'm going to raise this leg up here, so your posture is good. Because you don't want to, you're going to feed your arm through next. This is the dangerous bit, but if you're not concentrating, uh, uh, you've got to be at least a white belt to, to get sucking into there, not a black belt. <laughs> anyway, we're here. Keep your foot on the ground, this is trapped. Don't just float, because you can just take the leg out. Trap. We're here, it's quite sticky to you, good posture, feeding underneath, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to put your shoulder in the pass, you can teach it through your shoulder, and you'll pass like this. That's still very much valid. For this particular move, it's even simpler than that. You feed underneath, you spin. Okay, reverse scar fold. And then you have to deal with the phrase. So if it's framing, and spin with the hips. Yeah, you can, and you're going to get as far back as you can, and you literally want to sit on his arm, maybe his face a little bit. Now if you ask, we're going to try and stick from here. It should be much harder, but everything you move, you can get closer than move. So, once again, we're going to start from this cross knee, almost passing position. Put your leg up, because you want that as your power base. I'm going to feed the arm bone. In any case, it's very hard often to get this on your shoulder. So this style pass because if you feel like heavy, fine. It's very hard to get past. We're going to put my body weight as much as you can on him. Keep it heavy. I can't get on the hook. I'm going to go around and it's a quick spin. I'm going to space myself here and immediately start scooping backwards. Yes, you can. Until you're literally sitting on his shoulder, his armpit, his arm. Don't go too far and you fall off. You'll soon know which the pitch, you feel that sort of end point here. Keep this knee in here, keep this knee over there, for stability. Because if you keep this here, relaxed, and you use his leg to sweep your leg. And you think for you, if you don't want. Keep this in, tucked in, so you try to sweep my leg. Is that clear? 
Is it too many steps? All you're doing is this. That's what you're doing. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, let's go. That's it. Okay, time guys, let's do the next move. Uh, let's stop you, so that's alright. Uh, your head is here, your legs here, your lines are more here. Just move down a bit. Let's do the uh, Tariqa Cluster again. And it sounds exotic, and it was when it first came out, but it blew people's mind that you could do a Chimera. You could get a Chimera from someone defending so robustly from your Chimera attack. And the reverse scaffold is the perfect platform with which to do it. Say I'm here, and I've managed to get underneath one armpit, which is near to me, but I haven't got under here. This is the hard one, because my arm is only as strong as his arm. Plus, by defending like this, it's quite robust to feed under here. No worries, as long as I can get quite high up with my bum, I go over the arm, and I cut. Now the problem is still that he's, now his arm is hidden underneath my thing, because he now realizes that Kimura is a possibility. Okay, I can't just go grab. Okay. So I feed my arm through, swim, bring it back, and then create the figure four of Vinimo, the Kimura. Now his natural reaction is to grab his belt or just hide his arm here. So it's quite hard. But to finish the Kimura, just relax. We will bring it over. We turn our body, we step over, and we do that little move there. It's a very efficient technique on a willing and confined partner. Hold them very tight. But against someone who <laughs> doesn't want to be chimeraed, <clears throat> that's what you're going to end up doing. But as long as I have this kind of reverse scaffold position, I've still got control of his upper body, so it's very hard for him to escape. I don't know if you can escape from here. Yeah, I've still got this position. You won't see it, but notice my knee is digging in quite closer to his side. That's important. If it's slack and out here, as Christoph uh, wriggles around, it's uh, 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 in contact with my bum. So, over here, I've managed to get my bum back, invading as far as I can, but I haven't got this. No matter, I go over, and I swim through the arm. As I swim through, I bring the arm back, and I've got the figure four grip, which I need for the chimera, which is here, as you can see. Now, how do we solve the problem of the Chimera finish? I'm going to switch, always keeping my weight on him, to the traditional north-south Chimera. Now what we're going to do is the difficult part that everyone sort of found problems with. I am going to step over. Now to step over, I can't be balanced right in the middle here. Because as you bring this leg over, you're going to fall. And that's not good. So knowing that he's not going to take this arm out because if he does, it's danger for him, I can afford to let this arm go. If you want, you can grab your own view. And I step over here. See how I put my weight over to the side? That allows me to bring the leg over here. I'm in this sort of weird squatting position. Now this hand has a purpose. I need to plant it firmly on my thigh here. As good a grip as you can on your thigh, the better. Step on this hand here. What we're going to do is I'm going to drop my knee down to the ground here. We're going to do a twisting motion. He can either tap from just the pressure and the pain, or when he lets his arm go, he will cause like a pressure compliance technique here. If you're lucky, you'll get it, you'll let go, and then you'll get that to finish. You see how it is here? Yeah. But you'll also get that from the pain in the arm because your arm is going behind the It's a very technical move, but uh, again, I practice it, you can do it quickly. I managed to get it quite often in sparring, simply because I can't finish the normal move. So, once again, whole thing. Reverse, reverse. I can't, I can't get this in. This goes over, cups. I'm going to swim through, grab. This can't come out. Put the weights on. Okay, keep this through, grab the elbow. Hands on your thigh, best you can. Turn. Oh, can't get my arm up. 
to three kickers. So we did this on Thursday. Uh, give it a go. Okay. You okay, man? Right? One, two, three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So reverse scarf pose. I've invaded space. If you want to look this up, having done my little rant on YouTube, this is also called Twister Side Hold, Twister Side Control, uh, Eddie Bravo. Okay. Now, generally people will defend using the near leg to stop the thing. I could probably just about get it, but he could, I'm telegraphing what I'm doing. Get, yeah, and he crunches in and stops me. As I go over, maybe he'll catch my leg, and you know, there's all sorts of annoying things here. Uh, another thing he can do is sprint is if my leg is loose here, he can feed his leg underneath and try and catch there. And there's sort of fun counters you can do from there. So you want to block this in, tuck this in. So as you try to do the same thing, catch my leg, not gonna happen. Okay, so anyway, we'll go back to this defense here. On Thursday, I showed that you can get a knee bar from here. Very nice, do a knee bar, Oop, inside there. But that's not relevant to you guys yet. In the gi, in the gi rules. So we'll do something a bit more basic. Defense, I feed underneath, grab, and I lean my body in. That brings his knees to the ground. It won't make it all the way to the ground because he's gonna resist, obviously. He's gonna resist that movement. So if we resist that, but that gives me space to put my knee in. Now to get mount from here, I expand my body. Here. Very simple. But you'd be surprised how many times you attempt mount and you fail because you haven't taken into account the fact that the person's resistant. If you do it on the grappling dummy, grappling dummies don't resist, right? All the way back, all the way back. Feed all the way through. That gives me space to put my knee across and I'm gonna push his leg away with my leg. Now, now another variation of that is this, push my leg through, and I step through. Now try and regain the legs. So two variations. The first variation, as you can also push like this, but this is kind of be a bit tricky, whereas you're using your whole upper body. The first variation, assuming you've got very good deep reverse scalp hold, is the knee through, and stability, Push you back. And the second version is just step through, just to pin it there. Then he tries to resume. Then he tries to get to turtle. You know, whatever he does, you've got an answer for it because you've got that, you've got your opponent in that twisted position, which is a very key goal whenever you're passing them. Okay, guys, did you want to see those? We'll work it out. Okay, I'll come over and look. Right, one, two, three, let's go. Thank <laughs> you.